Hello YouTube, once again, it is uh, David here, and I am playing Terraria, got it for PC, it's great. Oh, it's night time, I hate the night, hang on, let's see if we can fix some settings here. So, it's David here, and I have gotten Terraria for my PC. I got a laptop for my 16th birthday, and it's awesome. So, and my friend recommended me to get uh, this awesome screen recording software called Fraps. It's really great. So I bought it and yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so as you can see through the video quality of this video, or at least audio wise, the audio is really great. FPS is kind of crap because this laptop's a little bit crappy. There's nothing to complain about though. It's better than my crappy little tablet videos, eh? So. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is make a house. So let's see here. Let's make a stone house. Oh, you're probably wondering, how does he already have all this crap when he just bought the game? Well, the answer is simple. It's a thing called Terra Viewer. I'll give a link in the description for it, but it's an awesome awesome thing where you can uh, edit your inventory. It's an inventory editor, obviously. And they have all the uh, items up to date, mostly. And they're only missing a couple, like beetle armor. But that's okay, because the uh, turtle armor is pretty alright. So, you don't really have to have, you know, that. <laughs> I dropped him with a rainbow. <laughs> Alright, let's build the house now. Let's see, let's start here and just build. Alright, so we're gonna build a little simple little simple stone house in the desert not too not too bad right guys I mean it's pretty nice Just, uh, ah, okay no I see how it is I see how it is oh, I can't shoot through the wall it makes me sad forgive me for my newbiness on a uh, Terraria PC I'm used to console Console is my, my shit, man. My stuff. It's where I... It's where I live. Is on console. Uh, let's make some torches. Uh, what else do I have here? I need to make a workbench, so... Cactus workbench. Stop, stop. Stop. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's do workbench. Let's put that up there. Alright, now we got a workbench. So now I can craft myself some walls and doors. Uh, lag. Give myself a couple of doors. 
and then go put the doors down. And then come over here, do this, take care of that. Little bit of this, little bit of that, and I went, oh. No. <laughs> so, yeah, do that. And we come up here, we're gonna make a couple of stone walls. Actually, we're gonna make a lot. When you build a house, you gotta make sure you have a lot of walls or things, etc. Because people tend to misplace walls, and you have to make sure your whole house is covered in walls. That's an essential part of building a house. Is the walls. It makes it to where mobs can't spawn in it. No, d well, dirt walls for a house is okay, like, as long as you actually have a structure there. If you're, like, putting dirt walls just to put dirt walls and prevent mobs from spawning, mobs are monsters, uh, do not, because you will get, uh, kind of, you know, a little bit of, oh no, kind of screwed over-ish. But anyways, I digress. Let us continue building this house. So as you build this house, you want to just kind of put stone everywhere. So I'm putting stone around everywhere on the house. Stone is a good foundation because it's such an abundant resource, and abundant resources are nice. They're nice in our world. I do not have a grappling hook, which is retarded, and I should have given myself a grappling hook, but I, uh, I don't care. It's not like it's the end of the world because I don't have a grappling hook. I do have flame wings, which I didn't even know you could get, because like I said, I'm on console, and console's, I guess, far behind or content etc so they're gonna be but I hear the updates supposed to be coming soon which is really nice uh, let's oh my gosh they just killed the bunny those evil slimes okay let's finish this wall uh, it's so hard to get the wall oh, completely covered if you don't have a grappling hook. I'm just going to make a couple of little rooms for the NPCs. Oh, there's like a lot more NPCs too with the 1.2. <sighs> My goodness. I still got to continue making more walls. It's okay. Who cares? I have 347 and technically infinite if you want to go there. It's okay. Infinity is always nice. Alright, so we built ourselves the little house here. Now we need our torches. So we put our torches up there. And you put torches around your house. Oh, that's new too. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of that torch, get rid of that torch. And voila, we have a little house here. Oh yeah, and to finish it off, you have to have furniture. For those of you who don't play the tutorial and learn the things. Oh, where's the furniture? It's this way. Gosh darn. It's okay. Just gonna keep scrolling here. Just keep scroll. Okay, stop scrolling, stop scrolling, stop scrolling! couple of wooden chairs, put them up there, put this down here. I always have to have two chairs, it's just the thing to do. Oh yeah, so if you were wondering what I am, I'm using rainbow dye and um, Eskimo uh, vanity set because that is awesome. Let's see, rainbow dye, Eskimo, and then as my armor I have turtle, because turtle armor does a bunch of uh, stuff to it. And then as my accessories I am wearing all warding, because I am a wimp and need a lot of defense. <laughs> so, there's that. 
And then all these uh, things are nice, like the fire wings, you can see those. Uh, Neptune shell, that turns me into a, into a mermaid so I don't have to worry about drowning, etc. And I can swim. Uh, cross necklace I use for boss battles. Don't have any boss spawners yet, which makes me kind of sad. Uh, uh, Ranger emblem that gets me extra damage on my rainbow gun and uh, any other ranged attacks. The uh, spectra boots they allow me to fly, run faster. So, uh, let's open the door. So I believe that counts as a house. Uh, according to the Terraria stuff, that counts as a house. So, yeah. That's how you build a house, guys. Thank you for watching, and I guess I will see you another time. Goodbye!